Friends in Christ, on this most sacred night in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the Church invites her children throughout the world to come together to watch and pray. If we journey with the Lord in this Paschal mystery, listening to his word, celebrating these mysteries, then we have sure hope of sharing his triumph over death and living with him in God. We bless our Easter fire. Let us pray. O God, who through your Son bestowed upon the faithful the fire of your glory, sanctify this new fire, we pray. Grant that by these paschal mysteries we may be so inflamed with heavenly desires and with hearts and minds made pure that we may attain to the feast of unending splendor through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We're going to go ahead and see if we can get our candle lit. Christ, yesterday, today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, all time belongs to him, all ages, to him be glory and power through every age forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And remembering his wounds on the cross, by his holy... Awesome. ...as always. Amen. Christ, rising in glory, dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds. Now, my friend, so, us, when we get inside a little further, we're going to light candles. Do your best not to get wax on the floor. <laughs> Joe, we'll, we'll pause behind the ambry, straight ahead. Straight ahead, in the middle between the doors. <coughs> and I'll just wait. Just wait. No, I guess not. But stay with me just in case. Okay, folks, uh, you can come up now and start lighting candles, okay? Pass the light. Okay, take your time then and just pass, pass the light person to person. Joe and I are going to continue into church. Joe, you can just go around either way. Stop in front of the pond. In front of the pond. Can't block the door. In front of the pond. See, just going. Folks, if you want, it's up to you. You can certainly rise. It'll be a while, though, before everybody gets in church. As you enter church, then you can go to your pews, but remain standing.
The light of Christ, thanks be to God. The light of Christ, thanks be to God. Exalt, let them exalt the hosts of heaven. Exalt, let angel ministers of God exalt. Let the trumpet of salvation Sound aloud our mighty King's triumph. Be glad, let earth be glad, as glory floods her. Ablaze with light from her eternal King. Let all corners of the earth be glad, knowing an end to gloom and darkness. Rejoice, let Mother Church also rejoice, 
arrayed with the lightning of his glory. Let this holy building shake with joy. Filled with the mighty voices of the peoples. It is truly right and just, with heart and love of mind and heart, and with devoted service of our voice, to acclaim our God invisible, the Almighty Father, and Jesus Christ, our Lord, his Son, his only begotten, who for our sake paid Adam's debt to the Eternal Father, and pouring out his own dear blood, wiped clean the record of our ancient sinfulness. These then are the feasts of Passover, to which is slain the Lamb, the one true Lamb, whose blood anoints the doorposts of believers. This is the night when once you laid our forebears, Israel's children, from slavery in Egypt, and made them pass dry shod through the Red Sea. This is the night that with a pillar of fire banish the darkness of sin. This is the night that even now throughout the world sets Christian believers apart from worldly vices and from the gloom of sin leading them to grace and joining them to his holy ones. This is the night when Christ broke the prison bars of death and rose victorious from the underworld. O oh, wonder of your humble care for us, O oh, love, O oh, charity beyond all telling, to ransom a slave you gave away your son. O oh, truly necessary sin of Adam, destroyed completely by the death of Christ. O oh, happy fault that earned so great, so glorious a Redeemer, the sanctifying power of this night dispels wickedness, washes faults away, restores innocence to the fallen and joy to mourners. O oh, truly blessed night, when things of heaven are wed to those of earth and divine to the human. On this, your night of grace, O Holy Father, accept this candle a solemn offering, the work of bees and of your servants' hands, an evening sacrifice of praise, this gift from your most holy church. Therefore, O Lord, we pray you, 
that this candle, hallowed to the honor of your name, may persevere undimmed to overcome the darkness of this night. Receive it as a pleasing fragrance and let it mingle with the lights of heaven. May this flame be found still burning by the morning star. The one morning star who never sets. Christ your Son, who coming back from death's domain has shed his peaceful light on humanity and lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We'll begin the service of the word in a moment. I would ask you now, uh, just a minute, to carefully blow out the candle, keep it upright, and let it cool. Before you set it, you're going to come by with tubs or something to put them away. I'm just trying to save our janitor the job of taking wax off the, off the carpets and floor, stuff like that. Okay. My dear friends, we, uh, the Easter Vigil, we begin sometime after sundown, we begin in darkness. We see the light from the Easter candle passed into the world with all of our candles. And then we hear the proclamation, the beautiful exalted, as Nick sang for us so beautifully, the proclamation of salvation. We'll continue now in a moment with the Word of God. You're allowed to, we can do actually up to about nine readings, but uh, we're going to do, I think, six tonight. One, the second reading uh, will be in English first and then Spanish, okay? So uh, let us be seated for the Word of God. Let us meditate on how God, in times past, saved his people and in these last days has sent his Son as our Savior and Redeemer. And let us pray that God may complete this paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless wasteland, and darkness covered the abyss, while a mighty wind swept over the waters. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw how good the light was. God then separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. Thus evening came, and morning followed, the first day. Then God said, Let there be a dome in the middle of the waters to separate one body of water from the other. And so it happened. God made the dome, and it separated the water above the dome from the water below it. 
God called the dome the sky. Evening came and morning followed, the second day. Then God said, let the water under the sky be gathered into a single basin so that the dry land may appear. And so it happened. The water under the sky was gathered into its basin and the dry land appeared. God called the dry land the earth and the basin of the water he called the sea. God saw how good it was. Then God said, let the earth bring forth vegetation, every kind of plant that bears seed and every kind of fruit tree on earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. And so it happened. The earth brought forth every kind of plant that bears seed and every kind of fruit tree on the earth that bears fruit with its seed in it. God saw how good it was. Evening came and morning followed, the third day. Then God said, let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate day from night. Let them mark the fixed times, the days and the years and serve as luminaries in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth. And so it happened. God made the two great lights, the greater one to govern the day and the lesser one to govern the night. And he made the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to shed light upon the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. God saw how good it was. Evening came and morning followed, the fourth day. Then God said, let the water teem with an abundance of living creatures, and on the earth let birds fly beneath the dome of the sky. And so it happened. God created the great sea monsters and all kinds of swimming creatures with which the water teems, and all kinds of winged birds. God saw how good it was, and God blessed them, saying, Be fertile, multiply, and fill the water of the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. Evening came, and morning followed, the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth all kinds of living creatures, cattle, creeping things, and wild animals of all kinds. And so it happened. God made all kinds of world an wild animals, all kinds of cattle, and all kinds of creeping things of the earth. God saw how good it was. Then God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food and to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground. I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day God was finished with the work he had been doing, he rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
manifold are your works, O Lord. In wisdom you have wrought them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the Let us rise and pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who are wonderful in the ordering of all your works, may those you have redeemed understand that there exists nothing more marvelous than the creation of the world in the beginning, except that the end of ages. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put, Adam, Ab God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham. Here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son Isaac, your only one, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a holocaust on the height that I shall point out to you. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Then he reached out and took a knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. Here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by its horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a holocaust in place of his son. Again the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from, the heaven, from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of, at the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. All this because you obeyed my command. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lectura del libro del Génesis En aquel tiempo, Dios le puso una prueba a Abraham y le dijo Abraham, Abraham Él respondió, aquí estoy Y Dios le dijo Toma a tu hijo único Isaac, a quien tanto amas Vete a la región de Moría y ofrece un sacrificio En el monte que yo te indicaré Cuando llegaron al sitio que Dios le había señalado Abraham levantó un altar y acomodó la leña Luego ató a su hijo Isaac, lo puso sobre el altar encima de la leña y tomó el cuchillo para degollarlo. Pero el ángel del Señor lo llamó desde el cielo y le dijo, Abraham, Abraham. Él contestó, aquí estoy. El ángel le dijo, no descargues la mano contra tu hijo, ni le hagas daño. Ya veo que temes a Dios porque no le has negado a tu hijo único. Abraham levantó los ojos y vio un carnero, enredado por los cuernos en la maleza. Atrapó el carnero y lo ofreció en sacrificio en lugar de su hijo. El ángel del Señor volvió a llamar a Abraham desde el cielo y le dijo, Juro por mí mismo, dice el Señor, que por haber hecho esto y no haberme negado a tu hijo único, 
Yo te bendeciré y multiplicaré tu descendencia como las estrellas del cielo y las arenas del mar. Tus descendientes conquistarán las ciudades enemigas. En tus descendencias serán bendecidos todos los pueblos de la tierra porque obedeciste a mis palabras. Palabra de Dios. Father of the faithful, who increase the children of your promise by pouring out the grace of adoption throughout the world, and who through the Paschal mystery make your Abraham father of nations as once you swore. Grant, we pray, that your peoples may enter worthily into the grace to which you call them, through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward, and you lift up your staff, and with hand outstretched over the sea, split the sea in two, that the Israelites may pass through it on dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers. The angel of God who had been leading Israel's camp now moved and went around behind them. The column of cloud also, leaving the front, took up its place behind them so that it came between the camp of the Egyptians and that of Israel. But the cloud now became dark, and thus the night passed without the road camp, rival camps coming any closer together all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea with the strong east wind throughout the night, and so turned it into dry land. When the water was thus divided, the Israelites marched into the midst of the sea on dry land with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. 
The Egyptians followed in pursuit. All Pharaoh's horses and chariots and charioteers went after them right into the midst of the sea. In the night watch just before dawn, the Lord cast through the column of the fiery cloud upon the Egyptian force a glance that threw it into a panic. And he so clogged their chariot wheels that they could hardly drive. With that, the Egyptians sounded the retreat before Israel because the Lord was fighting for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord told Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea that the water may flow back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and their charioteers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and at dawn the sea flowed back to its normal depth. The Egyptians were fleeing head on toward the sea when the Lord hurled them into its midst. As the water flowed back, it covered the chariots and the charioteers of Pharaoh's whole army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them escaped. But the Israelites had marched on dry land through the midst of the sea with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel on that day from the power of the Egyptians. When Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the seashore and beheld the great power that the Lord had shown against the Egyptians, they feared the Lord and believed in him and in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant, horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. He is my God, I praise him. The God of my Father, I extol him. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. You brought in the people you redeemed and planted them on the mountain of your inheritance. The place where you made your seat, O Lord, the sanctuary, Lord, which your hands established, the Lord shall reign forever and ever. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. Let us pray. O God, whose ancient wonders remain undimmed in splendor even in our day, 
for what you once bestowed on a single people, freeing them from the persecution of Pharaoh by the power of your right hand. Now you bring about as the salvation of all the nations through the waters of rebirth. Grant, we pray, that the whole world may become children of Abraham and inherit the dignity of Israel's birthright. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, all of you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come receive grain and eat. Come without, pray, without pain and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread? your wages for what fails to satisfy. Heed me, and you shall eat well. You shall have delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully, listen, that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant the benefits assured to David. As I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of nations, so shall you summon a nation you knew not, and nations that you knew not shall run to you because of the Lord your God the Holy One of Israel, who has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way, and the wicked man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy to our God, who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. For just as from the heavens the rain and snow came down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. God in 
indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord. Acclaim his name. Among the nations make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Let us rise now and pray, my friends, and remain standing. Almighty ever-living God, sole hope of the world, who by the preaching of your prophets unveiled the mysteries of this present age. With your grace, increase the longing of your people, for only at the prompting of your grace do the faithful make progress in any kind of virtue. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. this most sacred night, radiant with the glory of the resurrection of our Lord, stir up in your church a spirit of adoption, so that renewed in body and mind, we may render you undivided service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lectura de la carta del apóstol San Pablo a los romanos. Hermanos, todos los que hemos sido incorporados a Cristo Jesús por medio del bautismo, hemos sido incorporados a su muerte, en efecto. Por el bautismo fuimos sepultados con él en su muerte, para que, 
Así como Cristo resucitó de entre los muertos por la gloria del Padre, así también nosotros llevamos una vida nueva. Porque si hemos, es, si hemos estado íntimamente unidos a Él por una muerte semejante a la suya, también lo estaremos en la resurrección. Sabemos que nuestro viejo yo fue crucificado con Cristo para que el cuerpo del pecado quedara destruido a fin de que ya no somos siervos al pecado, pues el que ha muerto queda libre del, pe del pecado. Por lo tanto, si hemos muerto con Cristo, estamos seguros de que también viviremos con Él, pues sabemos que Cristo, una vez resucitado de entre los muertos, ya nunca morirá. La muerte ya no tiene dominio sobre Él, porque al morir, murió al pecado de una vez para siempre y al resucitar vive ahora para Dios lo mismo ustedes considérense muertos al pecado y vivos para Dios en Cristo Jesús Señor nuestro Palabra de Dios Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, approached, rolled back the stone, and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing was white as snow. The guards were shaken with fear of him and became like dead men. Then the angel said to the woman in reply, Do not be afraid. I know that you are seeking Jesus the crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead, and he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. Then they went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce this to the disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go, tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Happy Easter, Elise Pasqua. We're, uh, we're doing pretty good. Only have another two or three hours to go. <laughs> Dos, tres horas. No. Uh, Diacono Jose read for us. Uh, let's see if I can pull it out here. Um, 
when, ever notice when you look for something you can never see it? <laughs> okay, he is not here, no aquí. He has been raised, resucitado, como he dijo, di, uh, dije. He has been raised as he said, okay? And folks, that's why uh, faith, faith is so important. You know, we all remember that line, he is risen as he said, but there's a lot more lines and they all require faith. He suffered as he said, you know. He died as he said. He would be rejected by the leaders, people like me, you know, and by the people, his people, as he said. He would rise again on the third day, uh, Domingo Sunday, as he said. He loved us, loves us, as he said. He forgives us, as he said. He looks at us. You know, uh, they talked to a, a saint one time before they died. And they, this, this saint, uh, I should remember the name, but I don't. Uh, said He spent a lot of time in prayer, you know, like before the Blessed Sacrament. And people would say to him, well, what are you doing there? You know, are you playing games on your cell phone? I'm kidding. He didn't, they didn't say that. He says, well, I, I look at Jesus and he looks at me. <laughs> it's pretty good. You know, the way Jesus, he looked at people, as he said. He listened to people, as he said. He read their hearts, you know, and you know how we, our hearts, we mean well sometimes, sometimes we don't, but we usually mean well and we still mess up. He read their hearts, as he said. He never rejected anyone who came to him, as he said. Folks, that's why faith and hope and charity are so important. You know, sometimes people think it doesn't make a difference. I don't know, I hear that sometimes. As we know, they perhaps they stop praying, they stop doing things for God or for other people, you know, like we did during Lent. They stop reading the Word. They absent themselves from the assembly, you know, on, on Sundays, Saturday nights, whatever it might be. We make choices, but it makes difference. It makes a big difference. You know, Abraham, we heard the story in both languages, Abraham, Abram, and Isaac, Isaac. And God asked Abraham to sacrifice his son, and he had no clue. He had no clue. And you know, to be honest, I think t until his dying day, until his dying day, he had no clue. Why did, why did the Father, God the Father, ask me to sacrifice my son? Be because... Thousands of years later, a thousand or two years later, God would do what he had asked Abraham to do. And so when the father gave us his son and sacrificed him so that his blood would sanctify us, sanctify the earth as it flowed from the cross, they understood eventually, eventually, they understood that the message of God had been constant from Adam and Eve, Cain and Abel, Noah, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, Joseph, the prophets, David the king, etc. Okay? God does what he says. If we believe that, we're on the path. If we lose our faith in that, then God can help us, but we need help. We need a savior. Salvation. God gave us his son. We celebrate today. Okay, uh, that's enough for me. Joe said, what are you going to say in Spanish? And I said, well, don't hold your breath, Joe. <laughs> I'm, not that, I'm not that good. But I, th I think most of us understand what God says because he speaks in a language that is beyond our human languages, okay? So I believe now we continue with, uh, we move toward our, the renewal of our baptism and eventually we'll welcome two candidates to the church.
please join in singing our <clears throat> the processional song number 511 Pescador Downbreak our Agua Nueva, our, our new water. And folks, uh, I would invite you, if you can, to rise now and turn toward the pond as we bless the water. APA, for the benedicion de la agua. I, I need my, my server called Blue. <laughs> Ustedes sacaron agua con alegría de las vertientes de salvación. Savior, I am God. 
bless our, our new water. It was new today, folks. O oh God, who by invisible power accomplish a wondrous effect through sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water, your creation, to show forth the grace of baptism. O oh God, whose spirit in the first moments of the creation of the world hovered over the waters, so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration, so that from the mystery of the one and the same element of water would come an end to sin and a beginning of virtue. O God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shod through the Red Sea, so that your chosen people set free from slavery to Pharaoh would prefigure the people of the baptized. O God, whose son, baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan, was anointed with the Holy Spirit as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from his side along with blood, and after his resurrection, he commanded his disciples, Go forth and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church and ungraciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of the life of old may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. We now dip our Pascal Easter Vela Pascual candle into the water three times. In the power of the Holy Spirit, O oh Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this font, so that we who have been buried with Christ in baptism uh, into death may rise again to life with him, who lives and reigns with our unity in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. as we do uh, every Easter uh, at all the Masses, we, we, we renounce sin and renew our baptismal promises. And so just respond like you're getting married to God, which is kind of what we do. And so I ask all of us, including myself, do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I, I do. do. I'm going to change it to we. Do we reject the lure of evil? so that sin will have no mastery over us. I do. I do. do we reject Satan, the author uh, of lies and the prince of sin? I do. I do. Do, you believe, do we believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. I do. Do we believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, born of the Virgin Mary, crucified, died, buried, risen from the dead, now seated at the right hand of the Father. I do. I do. Do we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and everlasting life? I do. I do. Having proclaimed our faith together, we now bow our heads uh, for the sprinkling rite that Joe is going to do for us.
I told him to do a really good job. That's a nice vestment, Joe, so it would be nice to me. Folks, as you know, uh, any time in the course of the year, you can bring a little vessel. That water is blessed every week, of course, but you can always bring holy water home. You can bless your plants, bless your gardens, bless your children, bless each other. It's a good thing. Father Mesher, we have candidates already baptized into Christ's death and resurrection and who have proclaimed their faith with us. We now call them forward to profess their faith. And if Deb Checkle and Vicki Brown would please come forward. Front and center. <laughs> Sorry, it's my, my uh, former training. Right here in the center, okay? Okay. And they, uh, as you know, they've been preparing with Deacon Joel this year through the rite of Christian in initiation for adults. They're already baptized. They have professed their faith with us. So now they're just going to confirm that, and then I'm going to confirm them. Uh, Deb and Vicki, of your own free will, you have asked to be received into the full communion in the Catholic Church. You have made your decision after careful thought under the guidance of the Holy Spirit and in prayer. I now invite you to profess the Catholic faith in the presence of this faith community. In this faith, you will as of today be one with us at the table of the Lord, receiving his body and blood, the sign of the church's unity and how he was recognized by the disciples, as you know, on the way to Emmaus. So I just ask you very simply and respond again as we did. You believe and profess all that the Catholic Church believes, teaches, and proclaims to be revealed by God. My friends, the Lord receives you now into the Catholic Church. His loving kindness has led you here so that in the unity of the Holy Spirit, you may have full communion with us in the faith that you have now professed in the presence of his family. Now, I'm going to confirm them, so I would ask their sponsors to come forward. Joe is one. Well, I'm going to have to get my, uh, uh, as Jasmine, but I call her glue because I told her to stick by me. <laughs> Jasmine, would you take the uh, holy chrism there because Joe is going to be a sponsor. And then we have, uh, who's, who's the sponsor for? Uh, yeah, okay, come on. <laughs> so just stand behind your candidate, okay? And get ready to put your hand on their shoulder. You guys get ready to tell me your confirmation name, okay? My dear candidates for confirmation, by your baptism, you have been born again in Christ and become members of Christ and of his priestly people. Now you are about to share in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, the completion of your baptism, the Spirit sent by the Lord upon his apostles at Pentecost that we'll be celebrating in 50 days, 50 days from now. The promised strength of the Holy Spirit, which you are to receive, will make you more like Christ and help you be, to be witnesses to his suffering, death, and resurrection. It will strengthen you to be active members of the church and to build up the body of Christ in faith and love. My dear friends in Christ, let us now all pause for a moment. We remember we know the challenges of the faith life. So let's pray to God, our Father, that he will pour out the Holy Spirit on these candidates for confirmation to strengthen them with his gifts and anoint them 
Uh, the word anointing means Christ, to be more like Christ, the Son of God. O powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon these, your two daughters here this day, to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay. And be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Victoria, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. I should have probably had it with your spirit, but I forgot to change it. Okay. Let us give them a round of applause and welcome them to the church. pocket here. Uh, when we leave Mass today, I want you to kind of sneak out a little quicker, and then one, one can be at one set of doors, and one can be inside at the other set of doors, and folks take a moment, you know, to congratulate them. If you want, you can introduce yourselves. They are both, by the way, they're members of St. Michael's in Belle Plaine, so their reception is coming up uh, a little bit further on. There will be no formal reception here tonight, so they're at St. Michael's in Belle Plaine. Very glad to have you here today, and it's always, uh, you know, one of the great treats uh, for priests, I think, is to welcome people into the church. The Archbishop uh, spoke to us Tuesday at the Chrism Mass, and he said there were two things he really liked to be as a bishop. You know, there's also parts of the job we don't like, believe it or not. But anyway, he said his favorite thing was ordination and celebrating Chrism Mass. That's where we get the oils we use tonight with his brother priests. So this is one of the great moments, okay? So a, a great moment is to, is to welcome people to the church. And to be honest, folks, uh, it's great to always be with you every Sunday whenever we can do it. Okay, uh, we're going to let the intercessions go tonight. So please be seated. I guess it's time to, uh, for the offertory and the usual. Our song for the preparation of the gifts is number 307, Come to the Feast.
my friends, and my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands for, for the, the praise and glory of his name, name for our good, good and the good of all of his holy church. church. Accept, we a- accept, we ask the Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings and what has begun in the Paschal mystery may by the working of your power bring us to the healing of eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just and our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this night, above all, to laud you, praise you, with yet more glory, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By by dying, he destroyed our death. By rising, restored our life. Therefore, Overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Do. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Share Christ's peace with one another. a sign of peace and happy Easter. Feliz Pascua. Pascua Digo. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Our communion song is number 177, Resucito. Resucito. Trying to think of an announcement. 
<laughs> Steph said, yep, yeah, you want to make any announcements? And I said, happy Easter, right? Okay. So folks, again, thanks for coming. Uh, let's see how I did. Yeah, I predicted one hour 45. We're at one hour 38 or 39, so not too bad. Might have to do an extra verse of the last song or something like that. Okay, uh, have a wonderful Easter, folks. Uh, beautiful weekend. Remember, Easter season goes 50 days, 50 days. Lent is 40. Uh, Easter is 50, so, and as the weather gets nicer, I think it, you know, it, the idea is that creation teaches us about the new creation, as you, as you all know. Okay, so have a wonderful Easter season. Let us pray in Thanksgiving. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and your kindness make those you have nourished by this Paschal sacrament, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we have a special blessing for Easter. Our response is the normal. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from all sin. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord who restores us to eternal life, may the Father in the resurrection of his only begotten endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Amen. Now that the days of the passion of the Lord have drawn to a close, may we who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with the help of Christ and exulting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. 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 Go in the peace of Christ, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. Our parting song is number 579, Rise Up With Him. Jesus, who leads us.